Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're in the market for a home security camera, this is the video for you. I've got not just one, but I have two boxes that I'm gonna unbox today. I'm gonna show you everything that's in the box, how to set it up, what all the features are, and how to connect it to those home smart devices on today's video. Check it out. All right, so let's get right into it. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the NetView line of outdoor security cameras. It's ones I love because of the price, the ease of use, the quality, and the way it, is, it connects to those different smart devices. It really covers all its bases at an incredibly low price. It's much less expensive than some of the competitors with the same exact, if not better, features. So today, we're gonna to talk about two separate lines of the NetView cameras, the Vigil 2 and the Vigil Pro. We'll talk about the difference between both we're going to unbox both of them as well as showing you how to set it up with those smart devices. So let's talk about the Vigil 2 first. It is the second generation of NetView's outdoor vigil camera line. It is upgraded in appearance from the previous version as well as performance such as enhanced night vision, motion detection, instant alert, does have eight times digital zoom, and it is waterproof as well as having two-way audio which is really, really nice. The ease of installation is really something I love about these. It can be done in just minutes. Uh, it does also have a great wide angle. It covers it all up to 80 degrees of view, which is enough to cover the width of most entire front yards or backyards. Also, it works really good in different conditions. You don't have to have it in a covered awning or anything like that. It is completely waterproof and it is a rating of 122 degrees Fahrenheit it goes up to as well as down to 14 degrees Fahrenheit for those cold climate weathers which is really nice now you can control everything from your smartphone or your Alexa devices so I have my echo hooked up to it already I've got my smartphone I can do live video it does motion detection two-way audio I can communicate with people from anywhere in my house or even if I'm not home which is great so that's a little bit about the Vigil 2. Now, all right, so now let's talk about the new Pro, the brand new Vigil Pro that they have coming out for just a few dollars more. It's brand new, just came on the market. You get the H265 powered three megapixel outdoor camera, which is fantastic. The three megapixel resolution captures clear live video streaming and clips than a traditional 1080p camera, and no T-deals will be missed with something like this, thanks to the high efficiency video coding technology. You're guaranteed to watch improved live video quality without all the buffering. And what's more, it allows for longer recording times of SD cards before older videos will have to be overwritten, which saves you, of course, additional cost to store data. Really, the difference between these two is going to be the resolution and the quality of it, the HDR, the high dynamic range is, the highlights are down, shadows are up, you get to restore those true colors. So if you're looking to record video with it or you wanna really capture details, say for example, or family photos of the children jumping up and down in the yard, you can actually record those events. They don't even know it. It'll be in high quality. Um, and then also because it uses less bandwidth, it's nice because the file size is smaller based on this technology, uh, which also leads to smoother live streaming. All right, so I have both boxes right here. So let's go ahead and open it up, see what comes in the boxes. And then we're going to go ahead and set it up outside and then I'll show you how to set up these with your Echo devices. So let's start with the Vigil 2. Let's open this thing up and see what it has inside of it. All right. So it comes with a little instruction booklet here, a little quick guide. Uh, and then it also looks like it has a little card for one year of motion video cloud storage, which is, which is really nice. And then it has a warranty card as well. It has a two year warranty, it looks like, on this box. All right, so let's pull it out right now. All right, so there is the camera right here. It's got the antennas already attached. It's nice, has a good looking design here. And there's the cords right there. You can actually connect ethernet direct to it, which is a nice feature. It's got all of your caps here as well. And then it looks like inside here, you've got an adapter. So let's take a look at this. And it plugs right in like that. And so very simple, not a lot to this here. So here's the cord that runs in and then plugs in. Uh, looks like you'll have to drill into your wall and run this down. Uh, but you can look at the voltage on here because you could probably do, and what I did with my security cameras on the last 
video that I did was I actually did a solar panel. So you could do a solar panel as well. You just need to find the voltage of this and make sure it is the correct adapter and then cl click that right in like that. So that's probably an option for you as well to get rid of the wires, but there's not a whole lot of wires here. Not a lot to it. It's got its adapter and it's got your ethernet connection as well as this right here. Um, and then the quick step guide here, it looks like it'll show you pretty much everything you need to know on how to set it up. It looks like it comes with the drilling template, power adapter, three anchors, three mounting screws, weatherproof tube, so this is a Wi-Fi configuration button right here. So you hold that down, it looks like, to set it up. So I'll go through all of these. It looks like it's a quick, easy thing. There's a micro slot right there as well. Right down below here, you'll be able to add, right in here, you'll be able to add a micro SD card. It does come with a built-in card slot, which supports up to 128 gigabytes. So that's really, really nice. All right, so that's the Vigil 2. Let's check out the Vigil Pro. All right, so Vigil Pro, let's check this one out, see if it's the same as the Vigil 2. All right, just like the other one, it does have a quick guide right here, as you can see, a little instructions on how to do it. Looks like it's a very, very quick process. There, it shows you everything that's in it. Looks like exactly the same stuff. There's your warranty card, your mounting screw, and the camera here looks like it is very similar in size to the other one here. Very nice looking. This Again, this is the Pro Cam right here, which you're going to get a little bit better quality. And then here's your mounting equipment right here. Similar. So if you're comparing size between the two, you can, this will give you a little bit of a comparison here. You can see that they're very, very close in size. I feel like the two seems to be a little bit nicer for some reason. It's just a little bit brighter white. Um, and then the camera, as you can see there, a little bit different. Uh, but it's all about the quality and operation, and that's where the Pro really comes in. It uses just one antenna where this uses two. Uh, this probably doesn't need to have two because, again, it uses a, a less bandwidth, about half the bandwidth that the uh, two uses right here. So there's the comparison between the two and the full unboxing. There's not a lot to it. Really simple, really easy to use. Setup will be a cinch. I'll go ahead and do that in 10 minutes. We'll come back and I'll show you how to connect it to your Alexa device. It's really simple, really easy to do. All right, so we've set up our camera outside. So now how do we get it on an Echo device like the one I have right here. All you need to do is use your mobile device. There's actually an Alexa app. So if you don't have that, go ahead and install that on your mobile device. Once you've done that, log into your account and we can set it up really fast. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so go ahead and pull up your Amazon Alexa app. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on devices, then you're gonna click add device, and then you're gonna go ahead and click on camera, as you can see right there. And then you're gonna scroll down and look for the camera that you've got. In the case of this, it's the NetView, so click NetView. And then you're gonna go ahead and go to the NetView app. So download the NetView app. And then once you've done that, then you're gonna go ahead and hit continue. Once you hit continue, it will go ahead and ask you, are you sure you want to enable it? You're going, and then you'll be able to sync the two together. Now, once that step is done, it's very, very simple to get on your Alexa device because it's already on there. Now you just have to name it. So on your Alexa app, you can actually change the name of each device. So let's go ahead and test out our Alexa and see if it worked. Alexa, show backyard. Okay. Alexa, show garage. Alexa, show back porch. So there it is. It's very easy to set up, install, connect to those smart devices. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Down in the description section as well as the comment section, I'll share with you where I got mine and where you can get it as well at a very, very good price. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And again, comment any questions you have down below. I'd be happy to answer those questions. Thanks again for watching our video. Bye.